Welcome to another episode of The Double Take, marketing and technology worth a second look. I'm Wendy with West, and today my guest is Justin Tucker. Justin's not only my boss, but he's also the CMO of our company, West, and he has a way of looking at marketing and technology completely different than anyone else. In fact, he always is at least two steps ahead of things. I'm always saying, how do you do that? What's going on inside your brain? So Justin, thanks for joining us today. Hey, my pleasure, Wendy. I love being here. And you know, if you bribe me with a slice of pizza, you can pretty much get me to do anything. So. So Justin, I've been asking you what is really on your focus today as far as marketing goes, and you mentioned something called sentiment. I'd love to hear a little bit more about that and share it with everybody else. Yeah, I mean, sentiment has been something that I'm really focused on right now because I'm, I'm kind of coming to this conclusion that there's no more neutral in marketing. You know, when someone sees a marketing piece, it either is positive or negative. It evokes a positive emotion or a negative emotion. And think about watching the Super Bowl. You judge every ad as it comes through on, on how it makes you feel. And yet companies spend so much time focused on marketing for lead gen instead of marketing for emotion. I really want people to feel a certain way about our company. And I've identified what I like to characterize as six buckets where you can create sentiment in your own business. What's bucket number one? Bucket number one is what I like to call your voice or your identity. And for those of you who have done any of the brand archetype stuff, this is really what, what do you want people to know about you? What's your personality? What are those characteristics? People connect to companies that have a voice that really defines who they are. What's bucket number two? Bucket number two is one of my favorites. It's uh, it's humor. It's the ability to to connect with people through laughter, and you know when it puts a smile on someone's face. I don't know if you guys have seen the the most recent um, avocados from Mexico ad, where it's a secret society and someone's actually live tweeting during the secret society. It just it puts a smile on your face and a little bit of a grin. Avocados, avocados from, from Mexico. Mexico. Bucket number three, uh, I like to refer to as authority, and that's really sharing your expertise and in, in what you're doing. You want to separate yourself from your competition by showing that you're really, really an expert in what it is that you do. Bucket number four is something that we all need to start paying a lot more attention to, and that is this concept of, of charity or cause. Like, what do you stand for? What's important to you? What do you want to get behind? And, and companies today, they have to figure out what they stand for. If they don't, uh, they're not going to be able to connect to their audience in the way that they really want to. Uh, bucket number five I affectionately call coattails, and it is the ability to connect to something else that's already cool and that could be an influencer that could be partnering with another company uh, but it really is letting your reputation grow through the connection to someone else's reputation and number six bucket number six uh, that is all about this concept of success stories and it's it's sharing with people uh, the hero moments of your company the above and beyond moments the service moments the human moments that the storytelling moments I love right now chick-fil-a has a great ad campaign where they featured all of their employees and customers in moments where they went above and beyond and, and really made someone feel special. Okay, so the big question, Justin, knowing those six buckets, how can a real estate agent apply this to their business today? You know, I always uh, I use the phrase way too often, but how do you eat an elephant? And I wouldn't think that you need to be involved in all six buckets tomorrow, but I would start thinking about what's the next natural bucket for you to get into. Uh, if you have a, a good sense of humor and you can start there, if you have some great success stories that you can tell, if there's other partners you can connect to to pull yourself up and be intentional about it. Really be intentional about what should my marketing stand for? What should the message behind it be? And that's where I get back to there is no neutral anymore. It's not enough just to market, just to be in the space of marketing. It's that your marketing through all the clutter, through everything that's out there, has to mean something to someone. And if we start focusing on people instead of leads and feelings and emotions instead of closed deals, the transactions will happen. They'll, they'll, they'll come out on, on their own. And so you know, that's where we're focused. I mean, our, our company has has completely redesigned all of our marketing campaigns with this concept of sentiment, sentiment and getting people to feel a certain way towards our company. Hey Justin, thanks so much for joining us today on The Double Take. Uh, my pleasure, thank you for having me. Excellent, here's my wrap up. What I heard most important is make sure that you're using one of those buckets to make sure that you get your sentiment across to your clients. Make sure you remember that they're people, not transactions, and more than anything, don't be vanilla. Make sure you've got some sprinkles and maybe a few nuts in there every once in a while. Thanks everyone, bye. <laughs> test, test. Just hanging out eating some pizza. Little flying pie. Nailed it.